Drove down, down in the rain. Weird. It's Brian Wilson, but not the version that we're used to hearing. But it's the version we romanticize. Um, Bare Naked Ladies kind of came to uh, uh, our first wave of success with a, uh, a five-song yellow cassette tape. Um, the first batch of which we just I ran off on a uh, cassette to cassette duplicator in my parents' basement. But eventually, we had it kind of professionally done. Um, and then when we got signed, right before we, we released um, Gordon, our first full-length album, um, there was an uh, indie record company called Cherie in the UK that decided to release the yellow tape on vinyl. So they kind of did a photographic version of the cassette cover um, rather than the drawing that was on it. And they left off the uh, uh, Public Enemy cover that we did, <laughs> which we had only recorded because we had about a minute of tape left over when we recorded and the tape was expensive, so you didn't want to waste it. So we just recorded that until it ran out of tape. Um, but so this is the earlier version of Brian Wilson. No, it says copyright 1990. All right. Um, it's weird to hear this though, because I'm singing a lot more um, legato than I do in the later versions. So then there's there's this version, um, and then there's the album, the version that's on Gordon, which is the one we made the video for and was kind of the, the initial hit. And then there was a, another version we did, which was a live version on our Rock Spectac album that became an even bigger hit, especially in the US. And then we did another version after that that we called Brian Wilson 2000, because we thought that was really funny. Um, but it was 1990. Seven, and so by 2000 it wasn't funny anymore um, but uh, that was kind of a, a shortened version that we did for radio in the US because um, they didn't want any radio stations to tell us it was too long because the other version was like five minutes long but this is so sweet and innocent sounding and look at how that's what we wore, wore to photo shoots we chose to you know wear our sandals and our sneakers and our shorts um, because that's all we had, and we thought that was appropriate. <laughs> um, well, now I wear my slippers to interviews. Uh, also, probably known well, well known for the being a, one of the few songs to have to end with a long bass solo. Not a common thing. But yeah, no, no production tricks here. It's just us playing acoustic. It's the way we sounded. And the other thing, recording this. We'd originally recorded this for uh, uh, to use as a demo to give out at the South by Southwest conference in, in Austin. Um, and because the cassette we had before that was just, we'd done it on a, on a cassette uh, four track recorder in our parents' basements and uh, it wasn't particularly hi-fi. So we went to the studio and the cheapest time to do it was from 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. Um, so that's what we did, we recorded all five songs in one night from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, went down to South by Southwest conference. We had no showcases. We had no passes. We had nothing. Um, we were originally told we couldn't even be in the showcase. And then luckily one of the Canadian bands, luckily for us, not for them, one of the other Canadian bands couldn't get across the border. So we got to play at the showcase, handed out our tape, and then uh, came home with some boxes of tapes and people you know decided we decided to sell them off the stage at shows and then record stores started calling asking for some copies to put in their shops which was not so common at the time and then I would call you know Sam the record man in Halifax and say we're coming to Halifax in two weeks do you want any copies of our tape to sell and just coast to coast it started selling and selling and selling and eventually it sold like 80,000 copies or something in Canada which was completely unheard of, went uh, top 20 on the Canadian charts, which, you know, again, for a cassette-only release, homemade and completely independent, um, was not our intention. It was just this demo we'd made, and uh, it became a huge success for us and kind of really got the ball rolling for Bare Naked Ladies. And that is Brian Wilson. <laughs>